Хорошо. Перейдем к совсем другой тематике. Мы все выслушали о вещей интернета. We keep getting asked about this, being the technical experts in our space. What about the Internet of Things? What about the Internet of Things? All right. This is a recent show. In, uh, there's a really large consumer show in uh, the U.S. in Las Vegas. Everywhere you'd go, IoT, 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 right? Is it BS? Not BS? Is it BS? How many people in here think Internet of Things is uh, BS? Bullshit. Okay, good, good, good. See, this is exactly what I think, too, you know? Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter to anyone, but does it matter to us? My, my theory is that because it's so popular, because there's so much interest in marketing for us in this, eventually this is going to hit us all in the head in this room. One way or the other, obviously. You guys know this. You guys are a really sharp group of people. Either as, you know, DDoS vectors, what have you, right? So my question is, where do we fit in? I'm sure you guys have already asked this question. You've either decided, no, I don't want any part of this. I'm going to stick my head in the ground and just wait for it to pass. Not a bad approach. I don't, I don't know how to draw a picture, but I had to draw some IoT things. So I had paper and a, and a napkin and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Drones, uh, Uh, part uh, pacemaker, but, you know, all over the place, right? Well, we're all about numbers and protocols here. We're IP addresses, IPv6. Obviously, IPv6 has a place in Internet of Things. I'm just listing them here, okay? Oh, yeah. So, I'm, so ooh, sorry. I, I, I'm just listing them here, and uh, obviously, you know, domain names fit in here, but IP addresses, MAC addresses, all this stuff fits in this picture. So now I'm going to switch a little bit and say, well, let's, you know, let's look at the DNS part of it because that's something I understand. Clearly we need, you know, more I, you know, IP addresses. The IETF has worked very carefully as a number of groups working on protocols for Internet of Things and uh, not getting a lot of traction in places, but nonetheless people are working on it. So where, where, where for example, where would, I, you know, Internet of Things uh, fit in? And, and this talk, this is a lightning talk. These are just my thoughts. This is not I can speaking at all. So I like to say to people, even more buzzwords, right? The marketing people. DNS was the first cloud serve, first cloud service, right? Ha ha, cloud, 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 right? You know, they love hearing this stuff. Um, you know, and the DNS has been there forever. It's been there since 1983, which is when this program came out. You guys are probably all too young for this. That's that's Miss, that's Mr. T. Anyway, uh, so it's it's old. But it's also built into everything. So, so, so most, most Internet devices have already some way to look up a name, all right? Um, so most of the use for DS now is, you know, we look up something and we get something back. Why not both ways? And this is not new. I do not claim that this is new. This is very old, old concept. But why not both ways? You have these little devices sitting around, okay? A dollar, all right? I'm going to pass this around. I don't know how far to get. Here, here, just rip it open, rip it open, and, and take the chip out and pass it around, okay? Um, so these things, you know, are now very common, these Internet things. They're, they're taking over regardless we, whether we want them or not. In fact, at Christmas, I get these um, uh, Wi-Fi light bulbs. Now, you're all very capable network engineers. Would any of you put a Wi-Fi light bulb on your network at home? No, no, you would never do this. You did? No. <laughs> and, and it got hacked. Thank you. All right, good. That makes me, no, it doesn't make me feel good. But, but you know, it, 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 these things are all over the place now, and I think some of us are old enough to remember this, this, this is not new, the Internet of Things, but I think this time because these are so cheap, a dollar a piece, that's a full TCP IP stack on there, full DNS, 32-bit MPU, and there's even some space for you to put your code in. Okay, so, uh, you know, for me, so some of you guys that play with this stuff, this is not new. But for me, this was really, this is what made me think, okay, oh crap, I need to pay attention to this. All right. So, here, here's, the, here's an idea, all right, and this is not a new idea. You know, you guys are, 
you know, the, the, the capacity intelligence in this room regarding networking surpasses, you know, 99% of any other places I, I, I would ever talk about this. So I know you guys know this. But why not use uh, DNS to communicate both ways, right? So when I do a lookup on the DNS, I'll say get. So the, the DNS name I'll look up in this little dollar device will be get alarm state at some d dot IOT dot, you know, something, my domain name. The DNS server on the other side will receive this and look at that and say, ah, he's looking for something. He's looking for this information. And then create a response to the query on the fly. Again, this has been done before. There's a, a program called Iodine out there. I think earlier work by Dan Kaminsky where you get free internet. How many people have done that? Get free internet using DNS. Anybody in this room? Ah, okay, all right, all right. You guys have done this, all right? So really sick idea, right? You know, just changing, you know, you know, using the DNS to get this information. But why not do that here? Why not do that for the Internet of Things? I mean, I could set things as well. I could set the light on or off, door locked, open or closed, just by simply crafting a carefully made DNS lookup. And actually, if you start looking for patents on this now, there are some people trying to file patents on this stuff. Ridiculous. Anyway. All right. And then I'm almost done, right? This is a lightning talk, so it's really short. And of course, DNSSEC. I'm not going to talk about that again, but everyone knows the biggest problem with IoT security. People have talked about this over and over and over again. It's a big problem, all right? I don't know. We could secure, actually, this information by using Dane or looking up a key in the DNS and then using that to further create a secure connection using something else. People often say we can use this to bootstrap security, all right? All right, I love, I love making PowerPoint uh, things. So here, you know, here's just kind of an overall picture of this thing. You have all your devices at home that all have their own names. They may be owned and run by different, or, uh, different vendors, okay? But it's DNS, so it doesn't matter. DNS is cross-platform, cross-organizational, cross-countries. Who cares? So it's already there. DNSSEC makes it secure. And now these can cross boundaries and talk to each other. So why not do this? So, I mean, that's, that took me a long time to make that slide. So anyway, <laughs> all right. So the point I want to make here is I've talked to many of you over this conference. There's, there's, there's a very you know, a high level of network intelligence in this room. You guys know this stuff like the back of your hand, okay? Um, you understand the intricacies of DNS, very much more so the intricacies of, of routing and, and IPv6. I, it would be really good to see more cooperation or the, the thinking in this room, the people in this room, actually maybe going to some of these IoT vendors and, 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 and knocking them on the head and say, hey, we're here, okay? And because what I've found is an awful lot of the Internet of Things developments that I saw at these trade shows, they're designed in a vacuum, complete vacuum from DNS, complete vacuum from, I, you know, from knowing anything. They have app, uh, most of these kids, and I want to say kids because I'm, I'm, I'm old, so these kids, you know, they have these little app development packages and they develop in an app. I've asked some of them, do, do you know what underlies this? Yeah, there's, there's something. There's some cloud underlying this. No. You know, there's some, there's some fundamental things that we all know in this room that we could, sh we could raise awareness, if anything, and, and try to get them to learn stuff. I mean, I, I'm not going to go into the privacy things at all, but, you know, every time I talk to uh, the IoT vendors, the privacy thing just sort of freaks me out more than anything else. But anyway, so that's really my message. This is the last slide. Um, domain names are everywhere. We could call it a cloud, whatever, but it's a, it's, a, it's a good low bandwidth channel. Could be used as a low, low bandwidth channel for communications. And I certainly am not insinuating we would do this for free and not pay the ISP. But it's, it's something that's already in a lot of these things. And the NSSEC, you know, can lock this down. So that's it. I mean, lightning talk's supposed to be for me. I, you know, I understand in like five minutes, so I, had, I wanted to make it short. Um, I, I, I want to, you know, 
impact on those of you who do not go to trade shows like this, and these are a waste of time, absolutely, okay, that there's this whole other world of people that are, they're just pushing this thing forward, okay, and it's just happening, and they're doing it with very little, or if any concern, for security or privacy uh, or, or, or other matters. And so I think it would be really good if we, uh, in some way, started talking to these people. Anyway, that's it. Um, I know I'm the last speaker, so you guys want to get out of here. Richard, so, can any I ask? questions? Yeah, I do, actually. Go for um, it. I'm Natalie. I work for IPNC, but this is a personal question. Okay. So DNS uses TCP, UDP, right? Um, but a lot of these IoT devices, they don't use IP at all. Um, so how do you see that? Good question. You're, you're talking about low power, low power exactly, Bluetooth. Exactly, six low pen and stuff. Okay. Yeah. A lot of it is low power Bluetooth. I think we're in a transition phase. I, I don't claim to be able to read the future. And I think for a long time, these devices will always be cheaper than anything that directly connects to the Internet. But chips like that little thing that I sent around, I think there, there, there's going to be a little of both for a long time. And I think where applicable, it would be useful to have at least awareness of some of the infrastructure that's there already, like DNS, like IPv6. Uh, I think some, there's low power Bluetooth with IPv6, isn't there? I think that's one of the, one of the protocols that the IETF people are working on, as well as other, other similar protocols that support this. So uh, she's right. Natalie's absolutely right. This does not have DNS in it, okay? This is a dog tracker thing. Scary as hell. You know how this thing works? It uses everyone else's data plan to find out where it is, okay? You become the network. Ah, old guys hate that, right? You know, I don't want other people's data on my networks. Anyway, but, but, but hey, there are tw at least 20 different vendors of these things. They're called Tile, ta uh, tra Tracker, or whatever, you know, anyway. Sir. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, I have a question okay. about the security. Um, yes, the NASSEC provide security for mm. name uh, system. Mm. That's true. But DNSSEC could uh, ensure that uh, the device that is under my control is the device I mean, but not some wrong device. Yeah. But it cannot help to authenticate myself. I mean, if, like on your scheme, I have a car, mm -hmm controlled by some system, yep. well, hacker can be sure that it is your car, but you cannot be sure that somebody who is controlling this, uh, your car he, you know, is the right person. So I think that it could be the problem, no? You, you, you're, you're right. This is where I'm counting on your engineering expertise here in this room. None of these things, I don't necessarily mean there's a direct, you would communicate directly simply using DNS or DNSSEC. DNSSEC can be used to bootstrap mm -hmm. these sort of things, to build, exchange maybe a, a regular symmetrical key between devices. Once you've authenticated this, that that, that is in fact, you know, uh, Rick's car oh, oh, okay. and it returns. Got so, it. you know, yeah. multiple steps here. Yeah. Nothing, e you know, it's not easy. Success mm -hmm. is not free, okay? But, but to me, this is, this is an opportunity for well, any entrepreneurs right. in here, you know, <laughs> you know to, to, to file some ideas yeah. away. Yeah. Great, thank you very much. All right, thank you. All right, any other questions? We, we have half an hour. I'll try to keep it, uh, this under half an hour, if that's, if that's okay with you. I'm, I'm regretting being the last one now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I remember, and this is a little bit showing my age, I remember from about 12 years ago, um, there was this lovely project, um, and people got really enthusiastic about it. Everybody said, yeah, yeah, this is great, let's put this in the DNS. <laughs> and um, I think, I've, some, some people may remember it, it's called Enum. And, um, mm -hmm. You missed yeah. the great. Uh, it was it talk was yesterday. it was a magnificent success. Um, Rypancy's T is still operating the route for Enum mm. for public Enum. Ah. Wow. Yeah. So there was even people still talking about. It. Okay. 
As I said, there was one guy yesterday I, talking I, about that. I was that. still sitting on planes and cursing Austrian Airlines at that point, so I'm sorry that I yeah, missed yeah. that. Mm. Um, so, how is this? Um, how is this different? How is this? Um, I mean, there's there's obvious there's benefits to um, to 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 using DNS. If, if nothing else, because you're hiding it in somebody else's cost base, right? And you, you don't have to operate the, de all the, the whole DNS system yourself. You just operate the single end node, mm -hmm. and everybody else pays for the entire infrastructure. Mm -hmm. um, how, how, how do you propose that is going to scale and work across... Well, IoT is apparently billions of devices. Yeah, and 33 given, billion. Given, given the, 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 the price of the device you were handing out, I mean, it's going to be tens of billions of devices. Mm -hmm. And um, if Ripens is he can charge a cent for each use of its in-name service used by IoT, you know what? We can lower our membership fees even more. I, I, I will have to recalculate the, uh, the charging scheme. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, he makes, so you make a very good point. RFID was another one. Remember uh, EPC Global? Yeah, anyway. Now you show, you're showing your age now. Yeah, yeah well, I am old. <laughs> so, so I, you know, first of all, what's the success rate of ideas? One out of ten, right? So this, 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 this may not work. But what I'm trying to point out here is a, a little bit more different than that. I don't want it just as a lookup database. I'm trying to use it as to actually communicate back and forth something. It's even, even nastier, even, yes. even worse, right? Um, you guys tell me, it, I, it, the DNS is rel pretty scalable, right? So, and this is all data, low data rate stuff, door open, door closed. It's so, I, I you so know, at, I, the, at, the, at the same I time, and then now, now firmly putting my network architecture hat in place. Okay. Um, I mean, it's just hiding in somebody else's layer. And um, if I want to filter this, if I want to prevent stuff from happening, I now have to start especially on, 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 the, on the DNS tech side, I have to start looking at deep packet inspection, all sorts of nastiness, just in order to be able to filter this crap on the edge of my network, um, which I'm, I'm probably not best pleased about. Certainly not, given the, um, the track record that IoT devices are already building in uh, being notoriously badly managed with notoriously bad firmware, notoriously yeah. bad updates, no mm -hmm. I mean, security leaks all over the place, causing the biggest DDoS attacks in, on the planet right now. And we, not, we haven't even started. So if we're going to do this, I mean, I, I can see an amplification attack based on IoT, the, the secure DNS, coming from a mile away. Yeah. And it's, it's going to be absolutely gruesome. So. Yes, in principle, it's it's lovely. You're hiding in somebody else's data plane, but please don't. Thank you. Yeah, I no. Th maybe that is what I want to hear. This is a bad idea. Stop talking about it. But people are already filing patents for this. Okay, so, so I think someone is going to some large organization which has a lot of domain. So it's going to be making a lot of money. So here. so somebody <laughs> so somebody got a patent awarded by the U.S. Patent Office last week for. Um, putting squares in a web browser window. Yeah. Um, for real. Um, so not everything that's patented is a good idea. Oh, I know, uh, and this is always by jurisdiction, right? A patent in the U.S. may have no stand in the European Union because if it's yeah. software-based, for example, right? Or maybe I, not. I, 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 I understand the type of crowd I'm talking to here, and I'm amazed the tomatoes have not hit me yet. So I, I, no, I understand, but I've also had a couple startups, and and... I want to encourage some of you to be greedy capitalists, <laughs> and, and the patent is actually something that is a very relatively simple thing to do. In my experience, that it was that literally that one little patent was enough to protect me from Microsoft. And so, does it hurt to have a little money and also enjoy what you do? I, I don't know. So, but but I but I know I know there is a very free and open fundamentalist view in in so, this crowd. So I'm 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 um, I'm I'm kind of weird that way I guess um, no. I was um, <laughs> I, I I was once called out by um, some other American as being a capitalist pig really um, for introducing IPv4 transfers into ripe ripe policy uh -huh. um, so 
This is, this is not necessarily just the, the, the sort of socialist perspective talking. This I is know. just, Sorry. Okay. I, I'm, I, I have a network architecture head and I think this is bullshit. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for calling it bullshit. Thank you. Sorry, uh, I think Alexander wanted to say something. I don't know if it's in one more thing to add to the debate or... Uh, well, see? Okay, uh, actually, uh, I like this debate. А, uh, but I, uh, я хочу сказать всем uh, сидящим в этой аудитории, если вам очень понравилось вот это обсуждение, несмотря на то, что uh, discussion the internet uh, internet of things uh, happened only in the lightning tones. Maybe it was late. If you all vote on the web page, if you can find the place where you can evaluate and assess the reports if you can vote. Uh, if this lightning talk gets a very high mark during the next e we can allocate more time for the Internet of Things. If you fail to do that, and uh, during next e we are going to allocate more time to Yinam. Great choice. I don't know which one is worse. If someone does, if e has nothing to do with the Internet of Things, then uh, we can organize a battle during the next meeting, as it will be very thin. During the lunch, we were discussing three-day you know, and I think we will have enough time. 